Hey, welcome to part two of the Brits Bees review. Um, that rhymes. Welcome to part two of the Brits Bees review. Corny. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. If you haven't seen part one, go check it out because you won't know what I am talking about. Well, you will, but, you know. You don't want to see part one. So, what I'm going to review first is the original Burt's Bees lip balm. I've tried so many lip balms. I have almost every lip balm you can think of. So, but this is the best one. This is my favorite. First, it like soothes, like, um, like it moisturizes sort of, and then it, um, like refreshes, um, like it like cool it like cools like it has this tingly feeling that feels so good i mean some people might, might not like it but i love it and um and then it like refreshes and it like stays on like i mean i have to apply this like twice a day but i do it more because i like the feeling and um so i can't open it i mean it smells good I mean, average. I mean, it has no color, really. Yeah, I mean, it has a, sh a tiny shine, but nothing to, you know, go crazy about. I mean, if you want to wear a lip gloss over it, that's, I mean, you're going to do that. Um, so, yeah, I love this. Um, the prices will vary. I mean, I think I paid about... $34 for it, two, three, four, somewhere around that. You get them Target, Walmart, um, <laughs> my brother's making a weird face. Target, Walmart, like, I think you get it at Borders, um, um, SUV, sorry, my sister is asking me something. Um, so, you can also get it at drugstore. Stop, Nolan. He's shining a laser on me. Stop! Sorry. I'm the oldest. Yes, I am. I was born first! No, you were born last! <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. You can get him at, um... Drug stores like Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens, like anywhere you can get it. Not anywhere, I mean, but yeah. And they also come, I don't know about the other ones, but I know the original comes in a tin like this, and it's really hard to open because I have slippery hands. So I put the salve on. Um, but yeah, it's really white. Oh. You can see. And if you hear noises in the background, it's my brother. My sister, not as much my sister. And it's my dog getting groomed because this groomer comes over and does it. So anyway, the next one is um, it's sun protecting lip balm with passion fruit. Um, I'm not gonna read the ingredients on them because I mean, because like, eh. one they don't really say it on it because like. You have to peel this label off that has it on. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it. Okay, so this is a sun protecting lip balm. It's SPF 8, and SPF means sun protecting factor. And so basically, it's eight times longer, you can say, in the sun. So, I mean, that's not really a lot because there's like SPF 75. But yeah, my lips don't really get burned as much as they get, as much as they do get chapped. Um, but yeah, this is 100% natural. Um, and it has this tiny, I don't know if it's just for my lips, how, like, how it react, how my lips react, react to it, but it has this tiny, shimmery uh purple sort of 
you wouldn't be able to see it unless you were in person and then you would bar barely be able to notice. Um, but I mean, I noticed when I put it on, so I mean, it has to be something. So, and this is, um, I have little dents in mine. See that? It's for my dog. She's one. Oh, my half birth. This is really off topic, but yeah, so is that. But my half birthday is in 28 days. What? October 29th, April 29th. So yeah. Anyway, oh, my sister's half birthday already happened. Um, and next. No, it's week. May. May haven't happened. No, it's in March. Alright, so, um, the next one is replenishing lip balm with pomegranate oil, which is like this, and look at this. Bam. You cannot see this on your lips, like, at all. I'll show you. I mean, it's a little bit pink, but I mean, right there, you can't see it. And the light's bad, though, because it's like, well, um, I'm not going to ask what's in my brother's gloves, because they're decorating gloves, um, if you saw my last video. So, yeah, I'll put it on my lips, if I can open it. Oh, ugh. Okay, so that was really enough. I mean, can you notice that? No. You would think it's like bright red, but it's not. Um, so this is a very like oily kind of, I mean not very, I think there's going to be a part three of this video that is sad. Okay, so after I review this, you're going to have to check out part three. That's a lot of video. Um, so, well, it's because I have a lot of stuff. Um, so, I, I basically collected. I heard that. Yay! Yeah, my yeah. 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 It's an inside joke between me and my sister. Yeah. And my cousins. Well, two of my cousins. Um, so, this is, it does not have the tingly feeling. It's a bit more oily. Like, it could stand your fingers and be kind of oily, sort of. Um, but it works. And this, it's like nourishing and hydrating. And like, this is the most moisturizing one. So, that I have. Um, out of, I mean, like, these other two. It's the most, like, moisturizing. But those, like... I mean, I guess they're moisturizing, but they're not as, like, watery, tingly feeling. Like, not tingly. This doesn't. All right, let me just say this again. This is more hydrated, and it feels like there's, like, water, sort of. You know what I mean? Like, you're thirsty, and you drink water, and then you feel hydrated. Um, that's what this feels like, except on your lips. Like, your lips need water. This is a good one. But these two are more for like, this is more for sun and like chat flips, protecting it before it happens. And I mean, it could still work after, but, and this is for after it happens. And this is just for like quick if you have chat flips, like dry lips. So, I mean, there is a slight difference between chat and dry lips, but not really. I'm going to keep Okay, so go check out part three of this video. That is the last one, I promise. Swear to God? No, I don't swear to God because I don't know if I'm going to finish it. Okay, so yeah. Bye. Check out part three.